Hi guys, Ballad here, and today I'll be telling you, telling you the history of the Energems. So, how did they get to Earth? Well, it all started when an alien named Keeper was being chased by an evil bounty hunter called Sledge. And so, the um, Keeper fell to Earth, well, crash landed. So, to keep the Energems from getting into evil hands, aka sledges, he said, he told a T-Rex, right, yes, a T-Rex, um, to, to get him some, basically, five, basically ten dinosaurs with attitude, because in the universe, there's ten rangers, yeah, if you've seen Dino Charge, you would know what I'm on, what I'm on about, you can see his speech on YouTube, I think, anyway, um, so, Keeper did what a possum would do when, would, would have done if he was being chased, if they were being chased by an alien, by a bounty hunter who sent his fine, his finest warrior to Earth. He played dead. Yeah, um, he did what possums do, play dead. Um, so, Fury... Ended up taking the container of the Energems, empty, I might add, to Sledge's spaceship. Right? Where? He, where he, um, opened the container, but it ended up having a bomb. And it exploded, but that, but, um, Sledge was, Sledge had, has a weird hobby. Collecting asteroids. Yes, those flying rocks from outer space. And since we're in dinosaur times, dinosaur era, you know, you know what's going to happen. The digital dinosaurs. So which proves that Fury, no, not Fury, Sledge, was the reason why the dinosaurs got wiped out. If you are the, if you are one of the people who believe parody is real, I mean. Kind of is, kind of isn't. It, you know, it teaches, it teaches life lessons. So anyway. So, going in order of, I guess, the rangers bonding with the end gems. Right. So, after the dinosaurs came the Stone Age. Or late Ice Age, early Stone Age. Type thing. Anyway. So the first iron gem is, if you'll focus, the blue energy gem, which was found by a caveman called Coda when he was, um, I guess, drawing on the walls with, he was trying, he was, he was digging for something, he was mining, let's say. Um, he found the blue iron gem, but he heard his little brother was in danger. So he saved his little brother. By rugby, by rugby, or for you Americans, football tackling the saber tooth tiger. And, now since they were near a cliff, they both fell. But Coda survived because of blue iron gem. And and it was and he he didn't come out of the ice until recently, more like when Dino Charge was a thing. Like he was he was found and and people and humans, modern humans, future rangers, I might add, told uh, like basically melted the ice or broke the ice. So to speak, to release him. The second energy gem that was found by a ranger was the gold energy gem. The gold energy gem was was founded in medieval Xandar. Yeah, was it Xandar? Yeah, by the knight by the legendary knight of Xandar. 
Now, he and the prince was was on a little horse ride, so to speak. Well, a little ride through the woods or through like a little forest area. And then the, the prince got thirsty and asked the, the prince, the king, the, the knight, the knight of Xandar, Ivan, to fetch him some water. So they had it, so they stopped near a lake. No, a river, and got, and got some water. But the knight of Xandar noticed something shimmering in the water. So he picked it up. It was the gold energy. But the prince demanded the the knight Ivan to give him the energy. But but. He didn't know it was the inner gem. Um, so after the prince and the knight was attacked by fury, the um, the knight of Xandar, Ivan, defended the prince. But the prince was knocked out by a blast. Um, but when the prince came to, the knight was gone. But after defending the prince, the knight of Xandar bonded, or should I say Ivan, bonded with the gold angel. But then when the prince came to, he already saw the gold, the gold angel or the, the stone of Xandar. So he decided to name the Energem the Stone of Xandar. But then, years later, um, you know, same thing with Coda, you know, the old Energem was found, blah blah blah, you get the idea. Kind of Coda, except the person who bonded with it wasn't with it, so, yeah. The third energy gem was well, the ones I created anyway in the timeline. Um, we only learn it from a German magazine, and I only know that because I watched this YouTuber who who listed all the orange rangers from Power Rangers history, or that we've seen, which leads me on to the orange energy gem. I mean, technically it wasn't in it. Technically, we did see it. But the monster of the day, Hokex, Hocus Pocus, I think his other name was, um, said that he was a pirate. Well, he was in disguise. He was a shapeshifter. So he found, he said, he claimed he found the energy gem. So his ship, his, his boat, his pirate ship, was getting attacked. Right? Or his boat would get attacked. Then he fell off his boat. And then he reached out for the orange energy gem, which just so happened to be in the ocean at that time. He he found it by mistake, basically. Then he bonded with it, and then I mean, obviously it was fake, but let's just say this is the real. This is the closest thing we get. And now we go on to. The Pink Ranger, Shelby. How she got the energy gem, I'm going to tell you. Well, Shelby was a, um, what was her, what was she doing again? Um, she was working at a, a cafe in a museum as a waitress. But then, then she, just, she discovered that her other employees, which before she bonded with the energy gem, she didn't know was range were power rangers, were the dino charge rangers. Just, so she decided to sneak aboard the lorry or the the truck. So and then, but then she saw Fury steal. Was it Fury? 
a monster steal the energy gem, the pink energy gem, but she didn't know it was pink energy gem. So she tried to get her work colleague's attention, which failed. Yes, it failed. Well, because they were busy digging, because they were find, trying to find the pink energy gem, or some or energy gems. And then, monster attacked, and shall be bonded with the energy gem. When was this story take, when was the Pink Ranger's story take place, took place? Like, 2015. 2015, like, and about when Dino Charge happened. To them, it was modern day, but to us, it's like five years ago, if that. Anyway, and now I know what you're thinking. Why? Why did we have to listen to a history lesson? Or why do we have that little history lesson? Lesson. Well. Well, if this video is successful, then I know me talking about the energems is was the right thing for my previous video because the previous video had Batman and the inner gems. Okay okay now you okay I told you kind of why I showed you that but in the next video I'll show you I'll tell you why. But anyway whilst we're whilst you're you noticed in the background um, this was a challenge by a YouTuber called Obi-Wan Kenobi, I think that's what his name is. Well, the Obi-Wan part, I think it's spelled differently to how it's supposed to be or something. And the Kenobi is normal. So, he, yeah, he challenged people, like, viewers, to make a bounty hunter 